Hi everyone, Meissner here again. This time I thought uh, I will make a little how-to video about the Calibra again. Uh, I have a problem uh, with the Calibra's uh, uh, heat adjustment uh, cable. and no, Yeah, it's a cable there. And uh, it's uh, bent a little bit, uh, so when I try to push it uh, all the way to the end uh, to keep it warm, then the mm, slider comes back a little bit. I need to change the cable, uh, so I have to take a lot of things apart uh, to get uh, near the center console. The first, uh, no, that part uh, when I took uh, changed the LEDs uh, on the dashboard that I showed, but uh, now I will, I will take uh, the uh, cover around the steering wheel out. Uh, I will take the glove box out, and I will take the center console out, so I can change the cable. For this, you just uh, need basic tools. A Phillips screwdriver and uh, the cables. I, I got uh, all three uh, from a spare, spare part car. But uh, uh, I just uh, brought, uh, just in case, uh, a set uh, with every Torx uh, or everything what I need. But uh, usually this is the only one the, this one is just uh, because of the no, maybe the clips or something uh, where what doesn't come off uh, so I can take them easily off. But uh, this is the problem right now. It's here when I push it all the way to the end, it goes back like you see. Uh, hand goes back. So the this cable uh, what the, uh, adjusts uh, adjusts this one is uh, broken. So I will start taking this all apart. The glove box, uh, this part, around the steering wheel, and uh, let's uh, see how this uh, all goes and uh, can I get this thing working. I hope uh, this uh, cable is not bent, uh, what I got uh, from a spare, spare part car. But let's go on. When you start uh, dismantling uh, around this part, then uh, it's uh, easier to start the car so it's uh, I can uh, move the steering wheel a little easier then, uh, then just take these out uh, what are covering the screws one is one there one is here take these out then uh, use the Phillips screwdriver like I said goes there I will pick it up later this goes here pick this up uh, then uh, there are three screws under here I don't know if you can see uh, two and the one in the back for this, I also need a Phillips screwdriver. I will uh, take them out. When all the screws are out, I will uh, stop the car. Just uh, lift this up. This goes out. Then uh, Yeah, maybe I didn't need to remove this upper part. No, it's uh, easier to move. But uh, ah, I forgot one thing. Uh, for uh, the plastic part, what goes here. For this, uh, I suggest uh, a small uh, plastic thing, uh, what goes between these. Uh, it's uh, easier because it won't uh, break any plastic. Here. It's hard to move with one hand. I pull this part out, then this co comes out also. Let's take this out. Then uh, there are two screws here. 
One is here, one is here. What is uh, holding this part? So I will take these out. I forgot you need to remove this screw also because uh, it is holding the cover what goes on the next side and the, what is uh, co uh, covering uh, the center console. Take this part out. Then uh, this part is loose. Now I need to remove the glove box and uh, the glove box is holding in place with uh, one, two, three, four screws. And uh, the cover on the bottom is uh, also with some uh, plastic clips, but uh, let's take them out. Getting the dashboard out, it's uh, also good with a long screwdriver. Like you see, the screws are in a deep place, so it's easier like this. And the last part is to take these out. These uh, plastic clips are uh, holding the cover, uh, what is connected with the glove box. When you take this cover off, then you can take the glove box off. Let's take this off. There is a plug here. I can remove this. And uh, there is a pipe here. I can remove this. Then the glove box is off. And uh, now the cables are attached there. And uh, now <laughs> one cable is loose <laughs> so it was a good idea to take them apart because uh, one part is not working but now I will remove the center console but now I will remove the center console for this I need to remove the computer cover push these parts together and uh, pull the computer out For this, when you need to open the computer uh, plug, I will use some tweezers because the this you need to pull outside and uh, pull the socket out. I pulled it out and now good. you remove the computer. There are two screws behind there. One is there and one is there. I will put this. Uh, remove these Let's remove these screws so we won't lost them Last one is tight. This one came out also. Now I can pull this out, but uh, before that, I will uh, remove the cables from the bottom. I brought some light, but uh, now I need to remove these. Uh, uh, cables and uh, take the center console out these cables come out uh, try to keep it like this uh, you need to pull these plastic things on side and this comes out and uh, then just 
pull this cable out. Uh, one is already loose and uh, there should be one more. I discovered that the cover, what is here, I removed this so I can get closer to the place what I want. Now I can remove the cable and uh, change it with the other one. So wish me luck. I removed the cable what was holding there, but uh, the cable, at least uh, this is uh, okay, but uh, this uh, clip broke. I think it was uh, very old, <laughs> but uh, now I will remove this plug so I can take the entire, well, maybe I don't need to take the entire console out. I can remove this one and remove the cable. There have been uh, uh, a little difficulty because uh, the part uh, what I got, uh, the cable, I got it uh, from a 1995 car. No, I think it was produced in 1994. And the difference is uh, between these cables because uh, the one uh, what I had is uh, well, maybe six centimeters longer and the other one is shorter. Now I fiddled it so I got it in place and uh, it uh, goes here like it should. Now I'm trying to put all this uh, back together so maybe all it works <laughs> with a shorter cable. But uh, the place where I put it, but the place what is there is a pain in the butt. I <laughs> crawled uh, under the dashboard and uh, put it uh, back together. So now I will put the upper part together and uh, let's change the other smaller cable also. What was the problem? The other cable is here. Like you see, it's uh, not very good. It wasn't attached to so anywhere. Now I will remove the plastic here. Just pull this out. And this comes out. Now I will remove the pin and this comes out. Luckily I should have these, this cable. Mm, this is not that one. I have one in the trunk. It seems there is a difference between the older car and newer car because this one was uh, on my car. I don't know, maybe someone changed it or not. But uh, this is uh, from a sp uh, sports car. But uh, like you see, the length is different. Mm, I will put it on and uh, test it uh, if everything works. Because uh, this is the one uh, I had in the trunk, but uh, it's the right length, but uh, it's uh, missing the clips. So where to hook it up? But uh, if uh, this one doesn't work, I can uh, put this. Uh, at least it's uh, not... Uh, so worn out like the other one so fingers crossed i tried this one to put it in place but uh, this clip position is wrong the clip is uh, other uh, other way so uh, i can't use this so i need to put this one so in the future i need to find uh, the one with a clip <laughs> here but uh, right now i will put this instead of this so this one is just messed up. This one is uh, moving normally. So I will put this and uh, test the longer cable. So I got uh, all the parts uh, so far that uh, I put the center console back together. <laughs> I pulled this out so I can get uh, more uh, room uh, for my fingers to move. But uh, tip, so uh, if you put it uh, all back together, put this part before because uh, the cables what are connected behind this are not, not very long uh, this part uh, wants to come out so put uh, this one together first and then uh, go under there and uh, connect the cables where they are needed i left these uh, wires uh, loose uh, so it's uh, easier to put them uh, together here than uh, on top so i will 
assemble everything and let's hope everything works. So I got the car back together. The job was the pain in the butt because uh, the places where the cables are connected under the dashboard are very bad. And uh, the final result is that uh, 95 and uh, 97 cars uh, have uh, different uh, cable lengths and uh, uh, the car where I got the cables had also the air conditioning and everything uh, what I, my car have but uh, the length and everything is uh, different right now I bended the uh, heat no, the cable what uh, controls the heat uh, I bended it a little <clears throat> better so it will uh, move better but uh, the final result is yeah I need new cables but uh, I hope uh, you learned uh, something uh, from this video and uh, how to change them and uh, <laughs> what kind of job is it. I started this job uh, maybe almost two hours ago. So there are difficulties uh, when you plan to do this. But uh, if you want to change them, then you know where they are located and uh, what are the differences, uh, what to expect uh, when... Uh, this job uh, is on your to-do list but uh, for now I'm going inside to <laughs> mend my arms because they are hurting but uh, if you like this content like usual hit like hit subscribe and uh, the next video should be the one uh, where I put my baby away for the winter but uh, see you soon on the next video bye